Hi, I'm Pamela Poole and I live an amazing life as an artist and an author. I'm in my studio today to kick off July 1st, 2018 as World Watercolor Month. And I was thinking back to when I was a beginner watercolor artist and all of the choices that I had to make about products. Um, that was years ago and now with everything available on the internet, it's even more confusing than ever. There are a lot of great products out there, but if you'd like to choose some that are no fail investments for your more bang for your buck as a beginner watercolorist, I thought I would recommend just one of a few things that I would um, recommend to a beginner who is studying with me perhaps in my studio. If I could recommend one book, it would be Powerful Watercolor Landscapes by Katherine Gill. She covers everything in this book and especially what I consider to be the most important and that is composition because if you don't have a good composition for your painting, no amount of painting technique is going to save it to turn it into something that you will appreciate and enjoy. She also shows you after she teaches you composition how the techniques she has play out into creating a successful painting for you. And this book opens up as a spiral bind so that you can lay it flat while you work with your easel and have your hands free to paint. If I could only recommend one watercolor surface to paint on, I would have to go with the standby since 1492, Arsh watercolor paper. Arsh has a sizing that they put in their papers that help it to hold up to a lot of abuse like scrubbing out colors, pencil marks, and erasing from getting your sketch onto the page, and they don't buckle very much. So um, you can go with 140 pound or the 300 pound weight. If I could only recommend one paint to invest in, I would go with Daniel Smith watercolors. I've tried many and they have, I think, the best quality colors and they have some beautiful mineral colors that feel very organic on the paper. One brush brand that I would recommend would be Low Cornell and the reason is because it's uh, a very good quality brush without breaking the bank. And I would, if, I would recommend for beginners to start with sizes like a 6, an 8, a 10 in the rounds and flats and a big wash brush in the flat because um, watercolor is known for the transparency of their washes. That's one of the beautiful, beautiful things that you can do with watercolor on paper that you can't accomplish with other paints. If I could recommend just one scrubbing brush, which you will need as you go along to lift out colors for mistakes or just areas where you want to highlight, I would go with Creative Mark. This, the ends of this brush are tougher and you can lift out colors and use a Viva paper towel to lift those out and get your whites back on the paper. If I could recommend only one standby for a watercolor pencil, it would be Prismacolor and you don't need a large array of those because you can layer the colors to come up with a mix just as, just as if you were using paint. Once you master some basic techniques with watercolor and you want to explore and play and just have some fun, I recommend a product that um, I call it Yuppo. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation, but I'm from the South and um, yep, that paper is a lot of fun, but oh, is it ever a challenge. The painting that I did behind me on the Yuppo surface, it's a synthetic surface. It's a lot like painting on glass and you can't predict or control what your paint is going to do on that surface and it's going to dry in some surprising ways. Um, you can go back and push it around with some more water, but you really can't control what happens on the page um, once you try the Yuppo surface. And so I recommend if you just like to have some fun and you won't take yourself too seriously and be frustrated, that you try some of that. And so if you're looking online, having a lot of fun this month with um, Watercolor Month, I would look for hashtags uh, watercolor, hashtag world watercolor month, hashtag painting challenge, and see what you can come up with to try your own watercolors. And show them online with those hashtags so everyone else can enjoy it. Thanks for spending time with me in my studio today. Bye-bye.